Hi guys, welcome to another key shot tutorial. My name is Liam Martin and in this video I'm going to show you how to make heated metal that glows in key shot. I'm going to start off by showing you the basics of how it works and then apply it to a more advanced material so I can fully show off the effect. I'm starting with this rod and I've applied a polished aluminium material to it and added a little bit of roughness just to take the edge off the reflections. I'm going to first go into the material graph locate the modules here. So this is what we're starting off with, as basic as it gets with a material. I'm going to right click, go to materials and then add in an emissive material module. I'm going to then plug this into the label so it overlays over the top of the aluminium and I'm going to go to textures and add in a color gradient. So it's fine starting with the color as black and white because this color gradient is just going to change the opacity of this material. I'm going to hit C on the keyboard to see where it is, go to move texture and change this around so it goes from white to black, which it does now. I think I just need to bring down the scale a bit and then position it correctly. So essentially any areas that are white on here are going to be the brightest areas. Anything that's black uh, is going to uh, not glow at all. So that looks about right. When you're happy with that, hit C on the keyboard and click and drag this color gradient into the opacity of the emissive material. So now you can see what's happening. So we've got our metal down here and we've got our glowing material up here. I'm then going to duplicate this material and change the colors of it. So if I go to see on the keyboard again, I'm going to change the white to a yellow and I'm going to change the black to a red. So I've color matched these materials from actual images of glow metal. So hopefully they are realistic. I'm going to sit on the keyboard again and plug these into the color. Okay, so now you need to adjust these because obviously we can't see much red here and we should be seeing some red. So I'm going to, in the uh, diffuse uh, color gradient, I'm going to bring down the scale. Okay, and I'm going to reposition it so that we get to see more red creeping in at this end. That's fine. I'm then going to go to the emissive material and I'm going to bump up the intensity. So I'm going to go for three and this will allow you to see the effect of what you've done more. So it's now emitting much more light and it's essentially glowing. So that's the basics of this material. I'm now going to introduce the material that I've got below, which is an advanced uh, metal that I've purchased from somewhere with all the relevant textures and we're going to do a more advanced version of this effect. So I'm going to unplug the aluminium polished and plug in the advanced. I'm then going to use this diffuse texture uh, to affect the opacity as well as this color gradient. So first thing I need to do is zoom in a little bit. I'm going to add in a color composite in between the emissive and this color gradient and I'm also going to plug in the diffuse of this in the background. In the color composite I can go and change the blend mode to multiply and you'll see how that changes the opacity. So we've now got this dark texture involved and the overall opacity of this emissive material is a lot lower so a lot less of the lights getting through. I'm now going to add in a color to number node in between the color composite and this texture. And as I bring down this input to value, you'll see it appear more. So I'm just going to preview the color composite first to see how it's mapped. If I bring down the input two of this color to number, you'll see how it gets brighter. So it's going to shine through more. And we're just going to leave some of the darkest areas exposed. So these darkest areas here are going to take away from that light, which is how it works uh, with real life uh, glowing metal. C on the keyboard should reveal the effects and we're left with this glowing material underneath a top layer um, which then flows perfectly into the metal material that we're, we're using down here. Feel free to play around with that. I mean, there's going to be a better way uh, and depending on your model to do this and the textures that you're using, but I think this should be fairly good for most people uh, that are purchased or using a better metal texture. Last thing to do with this is to go to image 
and we want to add in some bloom so i'm going to tick the bloom box and you'll see what that's done so if i toggle between it what the bloom does is sort of simulate the glow that would otherwise be in the air around a, a an intense light source so i've already set up this bloom for this scene if i increase the thresh threshold sorry you'll see how it uh if i sorry decrease the threshold you'll see how it affects more so now we've got bloom on everything you want to position it so that the bloom is only really affecting the brightest areas of your uh, model of your scene which is really around here because this isn't giving enough too much light if you increase the bloom intensity obviously you're going to get more around the bright areas uh, it's easy to go too far but realize that we're not actually creating such a bright light hot metal doesn't give off that much light so we only really want to illuminate the closest bits around it if i switch to a better camera you'll have an idea of the effect a little bit more um, because uh, we've got some uh, some some of the material left here uh, we get some of the uh, reflections coming into it even as it fades over to the glowing hot part of the metal and that does it for the tutorial guys hopefully everything in there was understandable if you enjoyed the video hit the like button get subscribed please let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below and remember to tag me in any work that you do on instagram because i'm eager to see your results for now thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one